Hey everybody, and welcome to another installment of Avid Max Tying Tuesdays. My name is Brady, and today we're gonna to show you how to tie the EC Caddis. To start this fly off, we're gonna use a 102Y. This is my favorite dry fly hook. You've seen us use it in the past. This is the size 13. They're all gonna be odd sizes. From there, we're gonna use a little bit of Sparkle Emerger yarn, the light olive color for the tail. The dubbing of our body is going to be two-tone, so we're gonna use a little bit of the hairline dub in dark olive, and then the front region, the thorax region, will be hairline dub in caddis green. From there, we're gonna create a little bit of uh, bleached elk hair wing and wrap it with some Whiting Farms uh, brown hackle. This is the white dyed brown rooster hackle. And the thread we're using today is the Uni A dot in olive. Okay, so we got our hook set in our vise there, that size 13, 102Y. And I'm gonna come in with my thread and just get it started on the hook shank and work on back. And trim out the excess. So from there we can tie in our tail materials. Today I'm using the Sparkle Emerger yarn, similar to an Antron yarn. And this is the light olive color. So we'll just secure that right on top of the hook shank here and take it back to the hook bend like so. and then wrap and cover up all our materials for a nice clean working space here. So I'm gonna trim this right about the shank of the body, so I'm just gonna pull it forward and measure it. And kinda of eyeball it there and clip it out. From there we can start dubbing the body. This is a really cool fly created by a fly tire and fisher named Ralph Cutter. It's a, a great little cripple pattern. The EC is emergent cripple, so when that fly is either struggling to break the surface film as it's emerging into dry fly form, it's a good imitation, or on the reverse when it's a spent caddis falling down and, and on the water surface, it's a good imitation for that as well. So whatever part of the hatch you got going on, this guy will work for you. So we're just going to dub in our body here. We can trim out some of those pickier fibers that didn't want to dub down. And then we can start adding a little bit of our caddis green, the lighter shade of our greens here today. Not too much of a difference, just a little bit of a differentiation in the body here. And I'm just gonna add a little bit here, maybe a slight bit more before I come to tie in what our wing is gonna be. about there is good. So now we're going to take our elk hair wing. So we're going to take some elk hair, clip it off of the hide there, and I'm just going to clean it out real good, get all the duffy fibers out from in there. You can use your hands, you can use dubbing brush, whatever your preference is there. And then we will stack it. I'm using the aluminum Dr. Slick hair stacker. I really like the aluminum just because there's not much static that you get. Get my tips nicely aligned there. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just gonna pull those out and then kind of measure my hook shank, just like so. So right about the length of the hook shank there. 
I'm going to transfer fingers and kind of measure. You could do this two ways. You could tie it in just like so and flare the hair out and then trim it. I always like to, to kind of trim to what my head's going to be, similar to if you were doing an elk hair caddis, just so that it flares out initially when I tie it in. So we'll do a couple of loose wraps here, one, two, three, and then pull straight down and get that all to flare out, just like so. And then we're gonna pull all that material back and we're gonna sneak right in front of it there. And you can kind of sneak in front and then take your thread backwards to kind of prop it up a little bit here. So, a couple in front and then I'm gonna pull it up the opposite way here and jump right behind. And then actually do a couple of wraps just like you would on a parachute atom or, or anything that you are creating a parachute on. So nice and snug, a couple of wraps there, just like so. And just make sure you're not trapping any materials as you go around. Okay, so we got our wing, our elk hair wing set there nicely. Now I'm gonna add my hackle. So I got a nice hackle feather measured out here. This is appropriate for the hook size as you can see there, maybe a little bit long, but that'll be okay. So I'm going to trim off the butt end of that and then pull all the barbels 90 degrees from the quill and clip a few of them out so I have a nice tie-in point there. So from here I'm going to tie this in right on the hot side of the hook shank just in front of the hair which can be a little bit tricky. Get all that material out of the way. And secure it down in front. And then I like to pull it up with the hair, come behind it, and do one wrap around the hair, just like so because we are going to wrap that hackle around our post. Okay, from there I'm going to dub out, finish dubbing out the body of the fly using the lighter color green, the caddis green. And this can also be kind of a tricky part, just making sure that you're going to cover up all of the shank of the hook. So I'm going to do one behind here and try and sneak it right up under, maybe one more. Just like so before I come up and around on the other side. I'm going to do one more on the back side. See I left a little bit exposed there so let's make sure that we get that all covered up. If you do an X wrap kind of around it, it helps you get into those areas that are kind of up towards the hair that might otherwise be difficult to get at. So we'll go up to the hook eye with our dubbing and then I'm going to go right back to where that post is. Whoop, just need a little tiny bit more here. Just like so, and then once you're back to that position, we're going to go around the hair one more time and position ourselves to capture that hackle off. Okay. All right, so I'm going to grab that hackle with my hackle pliers here, just like so, and then I'm going to pull it down, and we're going to do a couple of wraps right around the elk hair wing that we got here. Two, whoops, hackle pliers broke off there. Let's try that again. OK, 
can always turn your vise if it's a little bit easier to do it um, vertically versus this horizontal method, but I'll go ahead and get it in here. So a couple of wraps around and then I'm going to come up and sneak underneath it here and capture it all down just like so. Trying not to capture any hackle fibers, although I find it to be somewhat inevitable. You're going to get some in there. And then we can clip off that excess material right off close here. I really like these Loon uh, micro tip scissors for this fly because you don't want to cut off any material that you don't mean to. So these scissors really help assist with that with their fine point and makes it super accurate. There we go. So that's all looking good. Now all we got to do is get underneath there and give it our whip finish. So again, just like you would on a parachute Adams, sneak underneath your hackle there and give it a few turns. Snug that down real nice, and go ahead and clip out your excess thread. Okay, got one trap there, we're going to pull that one out. There we are, so there is a completed EC Caddis. Great caddis for in an emergence or during uh, maybe a downfall, a spin or fall of caddis, spent caddis. There you are. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure to give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see us tie in the future, please drop us a comment in the lines below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, be sure to subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.